right, so Oshkosh 2023 here at the Ultralight Field, and I love finding new things, and I love engines, so here we are. Uh, Joe, introduce yourself, what you are and what you're doing. Joe Cavelli with Air Command and Skywheels, and I'm president and owner of the company. The company's been around 40 years next year, and we're real excited to announce here at AirVenture 2023 the Polaris ATV conversion engine for aircraft use. Okay. Well, first off, what is Air Command? Air Command is a gyroplane company, uh, started in 1984. Skywheels started shortly thereafter, so we own both Skywheels and Air Command, and it's all about fun and flying gyroplanes. And the last probably five years, we've been updating our aircraft frame with safety enhancements, new ideas, listening to what people are telling us and integrating it in a new airframe. And to start to complete that process is the engine, and that's what we're announcing this week at AirVenture. Awesome, very exciting. So essentially, this is a prototype sitting behind us. How, how close are we to, to flight and the, the test phase of that? We're a couple months from flight, uh, which will be exciting for us to take that next step. But getting there, uh, we've been working on the engine for, for two years. It's been on the test stand, but in total, four years. So we're getting awful close and getting awful excited. A lot of interest here at the booth with this engine. Okay. Well, we'll dive into the engine in just a minute, but talk about the airframe. Uh, you, you, let's call it as a base, and you've added these safety features. What kind of things have you done to enhance it to make it a safer vehicle? Sure, sure. Very good question. So it's very important in a single-seat environment to get training, of course, and um, so we would always suggest starting with an instructor in a two-seat application and then transition into your single seat. Our test pilot is six foot three, and he told us, if you want me to fly your gyros, you need to have adjustable rudder pedals or so I could fit. And we looked at it and we thought, okay, it makes sense to have adjustable pedals so that in a, a training situation, especially single seat, the instructor can take the, the aircraft up for the first flight of the day, trim it out, tune it in, bring it down, and then start working with the student. And because you have varying heights and comfort levels and rudder pedals have to be in certain places for uh, proper use, we made them adjustable. So within 30 seconds, those pedals can be adjusted without any tools. So for us, that's a safety enhancement as part of transition training. Okay. So that's one example. Okay. All right. So you acquired this company and you wanted to do something different with the power, but what was it formerly uh, powered with? Formerly, uh, quite frequently used the 582 for a number of years, probably 25, 30 years, the 503, really more of the Rotex brands. And Rotex discontinued the 582, and so there's a lot of interest, you know, what's out there that can kind of fill that void for that 65, maybe to 100 horsepower range. We had been working on this for four years, and so timing was coincidental last year when Rotex made that announcement that we are a little further along and just starting the test stand work. So uh, for the last two years we've been on the test stand with it. We are using a Rotex uh, e-box with this to make it also work, which the e-box was available, a proven system, so why not start with what's available and out there and you know works. And that's still available off the shelf for, for anyone at this point? To our knowledge, yes. We've made an inquiry with Rotex, we'll see what happens. But with the 582 uh, being discontinued, we'll see what the future is like. Okay, so the uh, 582 is, like I said, right around 65 horsepower, and you're, you're switching to this uh, in your prototype here. What is that uh, power point? So with the new Polaris engine, it's from an ATV. It's 1,000 cc. It's 85 horse. It's uh, four-stroke, two-cylinder. And it's also on the throttle, it's fly-by-wire throttle, fuel-injected, air-cooled. I mean, it checked all the boxes for us, and it's smooth as glass, it's very responsive, and super quiet. So, again, it checked everything we were looking for. Gotcha. Super it, excited. So this is, uh, is it air-cooled and water-cooled and oil-cooled like some of the other ones out there, or what is all the cooling? Yeah, it's just all, all of those things. So it's it's a proven engine from from Polaris. It's a 12-year-old engine, so it's very proven. Uh, ATV engine has to be really tough. We tried to break it on our stand. We, of course, couldn't. There's tons of testing in this engine already. The application is for aviation. That's what we wanted to val validate and verify. So we've done all the engineering, the FEA analysis, everything that would be required to make this a safe flying product. So obviously this hasn't flown yet. You've, you've got some good hours on the test be uh, test bench for it. Um, what are you what are you seeing for the operating range of RPMs, um, and and how long can you? What is the operating range, and how long can you keep it at full power? Do you think like other engines? 
or only for five minutes for maximum and you have to dial it back right so our operating range on this is right around 1200 rpm all the way up to 7500 to 8000 rpm it just was very sturdy performer and on the test stand ironically we were only getting a burn rate of about a gallon and a half an hour and we were varying the speed you know continuously during our testing phases so it just performed uh, we had no issues with the engine at all or anything else that was connected to it in this application in a gyrocopter what do you uh, what will be the demand for the RPM on this engine initially it's pretty close to full throttle and then throttle back we see the sweet spot on the engine being about 4,000 RPM that seems like a really good cruise R uh, RPM we are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics and so much more. All right, so in the in the Polaris lineup of engines, obviously you started with this 85 horsepower. Are there other offerings that you're going to be toying with here in the near future? What was really attractive for us is that the base of the engine is the same, but the series and horsepower can change because it's either 8,500 or 140 horsepower turbo with air conditioning and heat. So for us in Wisconsin, those things are really attractive and we want to share that, of course, with everybody else. So that's why this is a very attractive engine for us. It allows us other uh, horsepowers with really not changing anything from a manufacturing parts standpoint on the bottom. Okay. Now, obviously, you're going to want to sell this as a package with the gyrocopter and engine, but if somebody wanted to buy uh, a replacement engine in the future or maybe for another application, is there a rough estimate of what this could sell for from you guys? Not yet because we simply have just concluded really more of the test stand work and we haven't really gotten into the pricing, availability, shipping, warehousing, those types of things. We haven't answered those questions quite yet. We're just at this point right now. So those are future things that we'll be, we'll be looking at. Are you guys, uh, by chance, sharing your progress on social media so we can check in on you throughout the next few months? Yes, we are. Definitely. Aircommand.com is our website. We also created a Facebook page uh, with Polaris Aircraft Conversion Engines, so we encourage people to follow us there. Awesome. I think you should start a, a group as well as people... Uh, as you sell them and people start flying these so they can share their adventures. Aviation is all about the community. It is. It is very much. Well, thanks for sharing uh, what you're working on with us today. And um, I'll check back with you in probably, uh, I don't know, six months or so. Thank, thank you very much for your interest and in everything that you do to help support the industry.